Klaviyo is a powerful email marketing software that integrates smoothly with Shopify, allowing you to get started for free with email marketing, automation, and even SMS marketing. Hey team, welcome back to this channel, and if you're new here, then my name's Stuart, and I just want to say thanks for joining us. Now today, I've put together an email marketing tutorial for beginners, and in this tutorial, I'm going to guide you through how to use Klaviyo with Shopify, so you can get started with email marketing. Today, we will cover all the important features with Klaviyo's free plan that you need to know to really make the most of email marketing and automation between Shopify and Klaviyo. Okay guys, now just quickly, before we go ahead and get stuck into Klaviyo, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to grow your small business online. And with that happy note, let's go ahead and dive into Klaviyo and Shopify. <music> Okay, so firstly, what we need to do to connect Klaviyo and Shopify together is we need to log into our Shopify store. Now, if you haven't already gone ahead and created a Shopify store, then feel free to watch our tutorial up above, which will take you through a Shopify tutorial for beginners and help you create and set up your online store. So go ahead and do that if you haven't already created an online store with Shopify. Now if you already have an online store with Shopify, then what we can do is actually sign up and set up our Klaviyo account. So what we're going to do now is navigate over to apps and then all we need to do is navigate over to visit Shopify app store. Then come down and choose your Shopify account. And that will take you to Shopify's app store. Now what we need to do is locate Klaviyo. So I'm going to head up to search apps and type in Klaviyo. And then I'm going to hit enter. Then just navigate down and locate Klaviyo email marketing and select here. And this is the one we want here. Klaviyo email marketing by Klaviyo. Marketing software built for your growth. And as you can see, they've got 4.3 stars and over 1,000 reviews. So come down and click Add App. And what Klaviyo is going to do is simply connect to your Shopify store. And all your data and information from your Shopify store is going to be linked with Klaviyo. So if we come down to the bottom of this page, you can see that if we're happy with all this information here, then we can come down and click Install App. And as you can see up here, we want to allow Klaviyo email marketing to connect to our Shopify store and access all this information. And this important connection with Shopify will allow us to start engaging in email marketing. So what we're going to do is navigate down here and click install app. And here all we need to do is quickly create a Klaviyo account to connect with our Shopify account. So I'm going to go ahead and use the email that we use to sign up with Shopify. So we're keeping everything in one place. This is our business email for both Shopify and Klaviyo. Then come down and add a password. And once you've created and added your new Klaviyo password, come down and click continue with integration. And as you can see, our Shopify account is successfully connected. Now what we want to do is navigate down here and click continue. And then Klaviyo is going to go ahead and ask you a bit about your Shopify store. Now you can go ahead and answer these questions if you like, or you can navigate down here and click skip this step. So I'm just going to go ahead and click I want to start email marketing. And then down here I'm going to click less than 500k. And then come down and click continue. And then here, all we need to do is add our brand information. And this allows us to comply to international anti-spam laws. So as you can see, choose the sender name and email address that will appear in your subscriber's inbox. And then as you can see, we've gone ahead and added our business name for sender email and then our business email address for sender email address. And this is what people are going to see when they open our emails from their inbox. They're going to see that the emails are from Real Foods and from this email address here, which is our business email address. Then make sure your business address is correct here. Remember, this is so that we comply with the international anti-spam laws, and you can read more about that up here if you like. Once you've added all your correct information here, then come down and click continue. 
And here, what we can actually do with Klaviyo is design our email templates. So this is for when we're creating emails down the track, we have a default email template with our logo, social links, colors, and other information that we want to add to our email templates. So we're gonna go ahead and actually add a logo here. And we're gonna select our business logo, Real Foods, and then click Open. Then we can come down here and we can change the colors if we like. So the header colors, link colors, buttons, and body text. I'm actually happy with those colors for now, but make sure your branding colors reflect in your email template. Then you can come down here and change the font if you like. But again, I'm happy with this font. Then if we navigate over to header and social links, this is where we can add our social links and other links to our website. So as you can see here, we've got a shop now text, which appears over on this email template. And then that button is going to link to our Shopify store. So I'm happy with that. I could change this text if I like. I can also come down here and add another header link, but I'm happy with the one header link. So I'm going to click exit. So it just shows the one header text link here, which is shop now, and that's going to link to my Shopify store. Then down here we have social links. So think about some of the social media platforms that you're currently using for your business. For example, we've got Twitter here, Facebook, and Instagram. Now for us, we've got a Facebook and Instagram. So what we would do is actually go ahead and paste our URL, which will take people to our Facebook page. The same with our Instagram page. So go ahead and find your Facebook and Instagram URL and paste those in here or any other social platform that you have. You can also click down and select the social media platform that you want to use. So again, I could use YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. I can come down here and add another social link if I like, but again, I'm happy with these three. However, we're gonna leave these social links blank because this is just a tutorial and you can do this in your own time. So once you've added your website URL here, you've changed your header text here, and you've come down and added your URLs for the social media links that you've already created for your business, then come down and click continue. Now, if you like, you can always go back to your design of your email templates and change these at any time. So for us, we're gonna click continue. And lastly, what we need to do to complete our initial setup of our Klaviyo account is we need to head to our email inbox, the email that we use to sign up to Klaviyo and confirm your email. So what we're going to do now is head over to our email inbox and then locate your Klaviyo confirmation email, then come down and click confirm email. And there we go, just like that, we're all set to get started with Klaviyo email marketing. So come down and click let's go. And congratulations, just like that, we've arrived at our Klaviyo dashboard. Now we can dive right into the fun stuff. Okay, so to get started with Klaviyo and email marketing, what we need to do is understand lists and segments. So we need to create a list or a segment so that we can start targeting and building email campaigns and automations around those lists or segments. So on your Klaviyo dashboard, what we want to do is navigate over to lists and segments. So it's actually quite easy to understand what lists and segments are. So think about your list as let's say people that come to your website and sign up with their email. So at the bottom of your website, say if you haven't done many customizations to your Shopify store, you will have a subscription form at the bottom of your page on your footer and people can subscribe to your newsletter, your email list. So this would be a list people subscribing through your website. And then on the other hand, we have segments. So think about segments as a more defined list. So basically, as you can see under list, we have segments and we have lists available. So these are pre-made lists and segments that we can choose from. Like I mentioned before, we have a newsletter list. So these are people that subscribe through our website and then a few segments that have already been populated. So down here, you can see that we've got VIP customers. This is a segment. Win back opportunities, that's also a segment. Repeat buyers, this is a segment. So just quickly breaking it down one more time, we have lists, which are larger audience groups. Then we have segments, which are smaller audience groups. Now, if we want to go ahead and create a new list or segment, all we need to do is navigate over to create list or segment. And then here we have the option to create a list or segment. So we're going to go ahead and just create a generic list. 
And here we're going to create a list of all our contacts. That's everyone that's interacted with our brand. They could have bought from us, subscribed to our email list, or submitted their email from a pop-up form. This is going to be all our contacts. So we're going to name this all subscribers on Shopify. And then once you've named your list, come down here and click create list. Now, because this is a new list, we currently have no subscribers. We have three options down here to add people to our list. We can create a sign up form, we can add a subscribe page, or we can simply upload our contacts if we already have a database or a spreadsheet of our contacts. So what we're going to do first is create a sign up form. Now to navigate over to sign up forms, we can also come down here and simply click sign up forms. And that's going to take you to this page. We have these two different options. Now because we've connected Shopify with Klaviyo, what we can do is click create sign up form. So we can build a sign up form, a pop up that can easily be used to turn visitors into subscribers. So we're going to go ahead and click create sign up form. Now remember this is a pop-up form, a sign up form that's going to appear on our website when visitors are browsing through our website. And we can create an offering, for example, congratulations, you've unlocked 15% off. There's other templates down here, again, don't miss out, take 10% off your first order when you sign up. So we have these incentives for people to give us their email and join our email list. So remember the email list that we just created. So we have the option to select any of these templates if we like, or we can build our sign-up form from scratch. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to navigate through this extremely quickly because we don't want to spend all our time just playing around with different forms. So we're going to go ahead and click on one of these pre-made templates. So I like the look of this simple form here. And then up here we have the option to add a name for our form, but I'm happy with just for you, so we'll leave that as it is. And then below that we have subscribe list. And this is the list that you want to use to capture email. So for example, if someone puts their email in here and clicks sign up for free, that email is going to be sent to this particular list. And you have the option to create multiple lists like I showed you earlier. And as you can see down here, we've got all subscribers on Shopify, which is the list we just created. We also have newsletter and preview lists, these two default lists. So we're going to go ahead and click all subscribers on Shopify, the list that we just created. And then come down and click create form. Now with Klaviyo's drag and drop builder, it's very easy to use. So we're not going to spend too much time on Klaviyo's drag and drop builder because you can spend the time yourself to understand how all the different elements and blocks work. But what we're going to do is give you a quick overview of the drag and drop builder so you have an idea of how it all works and how you can customize your campaigns, your forms, and essentially anything with Klaviyo. So Klaviyo's drag and drop builder is very easy to use. As you can see, if we navigate over this form, we have different blocks. Now we can delete these blocks if we like, or we can click on each of the block to start customizing it the way that we like. So we have a formatting bar up here, and then we have padding down here and background color. So it's very easy to customize each of these different blocks. Again, I can select this block, and again, I've got a formatting bar, I can change the text down here, and I have block styles below. Again, I have this block, which is our email input. I can come down here, and what I want to do is enter what I want my visitors to see here. As you can see, enter your email address. I'm happy with that. Then come down and leave everything else as it is if you like. Then again, we've got another block I'm shopping for, and this is a radio button. I'm going to keep this very simple and I'm actually going to come over here and delete this block and click delete block. So as you can see my form is extremely simple, I want it to be as user friendly as possible so people can simply add their email address and come down and sign up. Now here we have other elements on the left hand side, these are drag and drop blocks so again I could come up to button, I could drag that below the sign up for free. And this is a button that I can customize the way that I like. But again, I don't need that for now, so I'm going to delete that block. Again, we have a text block. I could drag that uh, below the header up here. And then again, I can customize that text block if I like. But I'm going to delete that for now because I do not need that text block. 
And then I have an image block, so I can drag that in here and add an image. I have another email input, but as you can see, I've already got that email input here. I can add a date if I like, multi checkbox. I can come down to add a drop down if I like, or a phone number. But I'm happy with how simple my pop-up form is. So take the time to play around with all the different blocks, then navigate over to styles. This is the overall style and theme of your pop-up. So again, this is all about the sizing, the different colors, the font. Take the time to go through all of these different styles, then head over to behaviors. And this is important for the functionality behind the form. So for example, under display timing, I'm going to navigate down here and click loading delay. Now, when do I want this form to display? Show when visitor is exiting the page, show 60 seconds after page load, show after scrolling 60% of the page. I'm happy with show 60 seconds after page load. So I'm going to select show and then I'm actually going to change this to 30 seconds. So after 30 seconds, someone has loaded a page on my website, then this form is going to appear and people can put in their email address if they like to receive 10% off. And then come down to display frequency. Don't show again after submitting form or go to URL action. So I'm happy with that. And then come down to devices. So show on desktop and mobile, desktop only, mobile only. For us, we want this form to show up on desktop and mobile. Then come down to targeting. Show to all visitors, don't show to existing Klaviyo profiles. Target visitors in a list or segment. So I'm happy with don't show to existing Klaviyo profiles. Then we have URL and location options, but I recommend leaving those blank. I'm happy with all those settings for now. So once you're happy with that, come over to success message. And then here under the success message, you have the options to customize this the way that you like. So for us, I'm happy with this welcome message once someone submitted their email. Use code and in here, what we want to do is insert the coupon code and then they'll receive 10% off. So because they gave us their email, they now get 10% off their next order. Now, what we need to do before we go ahead and complete this form is we need to create a coupon code. Now to do that, what we need to do is head back to our Shopify dashboard. So I'm gonna quickly show you the process to creating a promotional code of 10% off. And then here on Shopify, just navigate over to discounts and then under discount codes, come down and click create discount code. Here we want to name your discount code. For us, it's just gonna be 10% off. Then under types, we wanna leave it as percentage. And then below value, this is our discount value. We wanna add 10%. So I'm happy with that. Then come down to applies to all products, specific collection, specific products. This is completely up to you. We're gonna leave it as all products. Then minimum requirement. Again, this is completely up to you. We're gonna leave it as none. Then customer eligibility, again, everyone, specific groups of customers or specific customers. We're gonna keep it easy and go everyone. Then we have a usage limit. We're gonna come down here and click limit to one use per customer. And then we have dates down here. If you like, you can add an active start date to your promotion and an end date if you like. Again, we're just gonna leave it as it is and come down and click save discount code. Now that we've saved our code, you can see a summary over here. Now, I don't really like the look of this code. So what I can do is actually change the name. So I could change this name to 10 off for you. I'm happy with that code. It's a bit more creative. And then all I need to do is click save. Again, I can generate a code if I like, if I don't want to create my own code. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. And as you can see, this is my new code. So what I want to do is actually copy this to my clipboard and then head back to Klaviyo. And then here back on Klaviyo and under success message for our new form that we're creating, what we wanna do is actually go ahead and insert our discount code or our promotional code in this little area here for people to use. So I'm gonna click here and then come up to text. Now it's in white, that's why you can't see it. And then what I'm gonna do is copy this all the way over to insert. So insert coupon code and I'm gonna paste my code in here. And then what I want to do is just quickly change the color and then we'll just go white up here. I'm happy with that. And as you can see, use code and then I've got the code in here at checkout to get 10% off. 
So that is just a quick overview of how you can use Klaviyo's form builder, drag and drop builder, to create your own forms. So once you're happy with your form, navigate over to draft and come down here and click live. And then come down here and as you can see, sign up forms are successfully installed on your site because we've already connected Shopify and Klaviyo together. Then come down and click publish. And there we go, your sign up form has been published and will appear on your website. So I'm happy with that. Now what we want to do is actually navigate back to our Klaviyo dashboard. So navigate over to Klaviyo, click here. And then here under sign up forms, you can see that we have one sign up form live. And our list is all subscribers on Shopify. So we've created a list and we've created a pop-up form. So let's go test and see that this is working on our Shopify store. Okay, so here we are on our Shopify store. And as you can see, after waiting 30 seconds, our pop-up form has appeared. So I can see that that is all working. Now we're happy with our pop-up form. What we're going to do is head back to Klaviyo. And now what we want to do is navigate over to campaigns. Then under campaigns, this is where you can essentially create your own custom campaigns and send them to different lists and segments, so different audiences. So for example, if we go ahead and click create campaign, then come down and name this campaign. So for us, we're going to call this new promotion. And then once you've named your campaign, come down to recipients. So who do you want to send this campaign to? So for us, we're going to select the list that we created earlier. This list has one subscriber. So all subscribers on Shopify. We can also select other segments and lists if we like, but we're just going to select that one list that we created earlier. Then we can come down here and select a segment that we do not want to send to. So for example, if you selected a list, you can choose a segment that's part of that list that you do not want to send to. So that's optional down there. Then we can come down and skip recently emailed profiles, but I'm going to turn that one off and then come down to tracking and we'll leave that one off and come down and click save and continue to content. Then up here, what you want to do is add a sender name and sender email address. So for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to leave our name as our business name as the sender. And then our email address is going to be our business email address. Then down here, what you want to do is add a subject line and then preview text. So the subject line is essentially what people are going to see first when they see your email arrive in their inbox. For example, 50% off 24 hours only. So that's an example of a subject line. Then our preview text. Now this can be a bit more of an explanation of our email campaign. So for example, this could be limited edition Christmas special. So once you're happy with your preview text and your subject line, come down and click save changes. Then navigate down to how would you like to design your email? Now you have the option to use text only, a simple format, or you can navigate over to drag and drop. Remember we showed you the drag and drop builder through Klaviyo. You can use that here. Or for more advanced, you can go ahead and use HTML. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to go ahead and click select template. Then here, what you want to do is navigate through all these email campaign templates and decide on which one best works for you and your brand and the message that you want to create. So for us, we're just going to go ahead and select this template over here. You can also preview each of these templates before you decide which template that you want to use. For us, we're going to select this template here. And here we are on Klaviyo's drag and drop builder, like I briefly showed you earlier when we were creating our pop-up form. So again, just navigate across all of these different elements and blocks, and you can go ahead and delete and copy each of these blocks if you like. You can also navigate over to the left-hand side and select and drag each of these blocks, for example, the text block, and you can place that anywhere you like. Again, we have the formatting options over here. Again, if I click on blocks, I can come over here and select image and I can drag that under here if I like and then customize that image and add an image. Again, we have blocks and we have other blocks that we can choose from. So take the time to test each of these blocks. It's really easy to build out your email template. So just play around with each of these blocks. Then come down to styles. And again, similar to what we showed you before, this is where you can customize the overall feel, theme, and style of your email campaign. Then once you've done that, navigate over to preview. 
and this is where you can go ahead and preview your email. Just come down here and click preview now. Or you can go ahead and send it as an email to your email address and just test to see if this campaign looks okay before you send it live to your list or your segments. So we're going to cancel out of that one for now. And you can also come up here and view what your email campaign will look like on mobile and on desktop. So I like the look of that. Take the time to play around with this campaign before you go ahead and send that to your audience. You can also come up here and change your template if you're not too happy with this email template. For the purpose of this tutorial, what we're going to do is navigate up to save content. And as you can see, we have our preview down here as well as the other information that we filled out earlier. We can come down here and click review and send campaign. Then here, what we want to do before we go ahead and send our campaign to our list is review our campaign information. And Clavio is also going to provide some suggestions to what you should be looking at or what you should possibly change before you go ahead and send your campaign. So for us, I'm happy with all that information there. Then when you're ready to go live and send this campaign to your lists or segments, come down and click schedule or send. Here we have the option to schedule our campaign or we can send it now. So I'm going to go ahead and click send now. And just like that, you've gone ahead and sent your first email campaign to your audience, to your list or segment. So this can take some time before your campaign is sent. So just be patient and give it a few moments. So what I'm going to do is click return to campaigns. Okay, so now that we've sent our first email campaign to our list and segments, what we want to do now is actually cover flows and email sequences. This is the last part that we want to talk about in regards to getting started with email marketing. So navigate over to flows. Okay, so here we are on email flows or otherwise known as email sequences. And this is all about building automations with your email marketing. So automating the whole email process when it comes to different behavior and engagement on your website. So you can see down here we have some ideas for us to choose from or we can go ahead and create our flow here. Now, for example, over here we've got a welcome series, so a welcome flow. Basically, welcome subscribers with this free email series that provides a warm introduction to your business. So what we're going to do is actually go ahead and click get started. And as you can see, under flows, we now have the welcome series Flow. So what we're going to do is edit this flow and show you how a sequence works, a flow works. So go ahead and click edit flow. Here we want to select a list. So for us, we're going to go ahead and select the list that we created earlier, all subscribers on Shopify, and click continue. Then come down here and click let's go. Okay, so let's break down and create some understanding around these flows. So as you can see, we've selected welcome series flow. Remember, we just selected that. That's a pre-made flow or email sequence. Now, let's explain how this actually works. Well, as you can see, we have the trigger here. So the trigger is when someone subscribes to all subscribers on Shopify. So remember, this is all to do with our pop-up email. If someone submits their email into that pop-up form, then this will be triggered and they will get sent straight away. If we navigate over here, this email will be sent on the same day as the trigger. So as soon as they submit and subscribe to our newsletter or our email list, then they're going to get a welcome series email one, which is thanks for signing up. Then once they receive that three days later, they will get another email and this is email number two and this will be a follow us on social media then four days later that individual that initially subscribed to our all subscribers on shopify so our pop-up they will get another email third email in our welcome series and that will be check out our best sellers okay now each of these emails here we can edit and customize the way that we like or we can drag these different blocks over to customize this flow, this email sequence, the way that we like. But we're going to leave that as a basic email flow for now because we don't want to make it too complicated. This is a beginner's tutorial. So let's show you how this all works. Now, if you want to edit any of these, all we need to do is say, for example, we've got three emails here. So we've got email one, email two, and email three. 
Now, if we navigate over to here and we click on email one and come down and click edit, and then here we have the same options as if we were creating a email campaign. So go ahead and fill out that information there, then come down and click save changes. Then if you want to edit your content, again, all we need to do is navigate, uh, scroll down to view the content. This is the first email in our welcome series. So they'll receive this. There's a shop now button up here. Welcome. Thanks for signing up. And then this information down here. And then we have the Real Foods team. So this is already automated. And then we have the logo branding down here. Because this is a free plan, we do have Clavio branding down here. If you want to remove that, you just need to upgrade to a paid plan. So I'm happy with that content. You can go ahead and edit the content if you like by simply clicking edit content. And like we mentioned before, when we were creating our email campaign, you can go ahead and drag each of these different blocks and elements, and you can create your campaign the way that you like. So that is completely up to you. Remember this interface, this drag and drop builder is the same throughout Klaviyo. And again, you can preview and save your content up here. So it's very straightforward and very similar to creating an email campaign. But remember, this is going to be automated. So if we come up here and click done, I can come down here and edit email two, or I can come down and edit email three. I'm going to keep them as they are for now. I can also edit these periods here. So after three days, the second email is sent. If I click here, you can see the formatting options on the left hand side. I can change the delay to as many days as I like, and I can add a specific time of day. But again, I'm gonna leave this flow, this email sequence, the way that it is for now. So what I'm gonna do is come down here and where it says draft, I'm gonna come down and click live, and then click dismiss. And as you can see, the single email is now live. So what I wanna do is come down here and select live for the second email. Now I have two emails in my flow that are currently live. I can come down here and now I want to make the third email that's part of this welcome flow and I want to turn that on also. And I'm happy with that welcome email flow for now. I'm going to navigate up to save and exit. And as you can see, I now have my welcome series flow or email sequence active and live. And now when people subscribe to my email list, they add their email and subscribe on that pop-up form that we created at the beginning of this tutorial, then they're going to be part of this welcome series. And they're gonna receive three emails over the period of four days. I hope that makes sense. Then what you can do is come down here and you can create these other additional flows that are already pre-made and automated if you like. For example, a banded cart. This is a great one that I recommend getting started with and then customize it the way that you like. Again, we've got browse abandonment, uh, customer thank you. So when someone purchases from you, then there is an email flow or email sequence when someone has purchased a product from your website. Then we have product review, cross sell, and then we have more across here and you can browse all the ideas if you like. Again, if you wanna create a email flow from scratch, then just navigate up to create flow. Then again, you have email templates here that you can choose from and customize the way that you like. You can also come down to type, goal, or integrations. For example, on type, I could come down to uh, abandoned cart, and that's going to bring up my abandoned cart flows. I can also come down to goal. So if I untick here and come down to goal, I can also click build loyalty, and that's going to show me some email flows here. However, if I want to build from scratch, just navigate up to create from scratch. And here you just need to simply name your flow. So for us, we're going to name this new customer and then come down and click create flow. And this is where we can go ahead and create a new email flow email sequence for new customers. It could be a uh, email sequence for upselling. It could be a thank you. Be creative and think about what you can create. However, I recommend getting started with the templates to begin with, like we just showed you with the welcome series. And then you can start creating your own email flows and email sequences from scratch. So remember, you need a trigger that could be a list or it could be a segment. For us, it would be a segment because it would be our new customers. And this could be, like I said, a welcome email, or it could be an upselling 
email flow, email sequence. So we're not actually going to dive into this one. We've given you an overview of how you can get started with an email flow, email sequence. So we're going to leave that as it is. So take the time to create your own flow. I suggest you use some of those pre-made templates or pre-made flows I just showed you and customize them the way that you like. So for now, what we're going to do is navigate up to save and exit and then navigate over to dashboard. And just quickly, under your dashboard, this is where you can see some overall analytics and information surrounding your campaigns, your flows, and any relevant basic information that is important to your Klaviyo account. So with that said, that is it for today's tutorial. That is a beginner's overview of how you can get started with email marketing with Klaviyo. And there we have it guys, that is it for today's tutorial. I hope you're ready to fully engage in email marketing after watching this tutorial. Now, if you have any questions about this video, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And that way I'll see you in the next tutorial. Take care guys.